Good evening, dear students. I hope you all are safe and fine at your home. So today we are going to start our seventh part, and the seventh part of physical fitness, wellness, and lifestyle. Right. So I hope you must have seen the videos that I posted earlier, in which we have discussed about what is physical fitness, what is wellness, what is lifestyle. Then we also had studied about the various components of physical fitness. Right. So uh, in physical fitness, if we talk about physical fitness, there are basically five things. First is strength, the ability to overcome resistance. Second is endurance, the ability to overcome fatigue or the ability to resist fatigue. Third is speed, the ability to perform movement at faster rate or the ability to perform movement as fast as possible. I hope you clear it. Now next is flexibility. So flexibility is the ability of our joint to move in maximum range. Got it? Now the point that we are going to discuss today is coordinative ability. What is this coordinative ability? So before we going to start, I would just like to put, I would just like to throw a lot of questions to you regarding this topic, so that the understanding can be attractive, the understanding can be, you know, lot of intellectual process. To think about the idea and the concept and self rectification, that what exactly this coordinative ability is. So you always heard. I have a question to you. Have you ever uh, experienced that uh, your teachers, when you are uh, from class fifth to class ninth, tenth, or twelfth, teachers always need perfection in your work, isn't it? Yes or no? Yes. Good. Next thing that I would like to ask you is that whenever there is a program at our home, each and every one says our program should be wonderful, right? So is it or not? It's your uh, answer should be from your side. So next, my next, next that is the third question, and the question that I would like to ask you is: See, uh, whenever you are going to purchase a new cloth, or whenever you are going to purchase clothes for your wedding or your sister's wedding or something. So you always think that I should be look graceful, I should be look uh, perfect, so that uh, you know the you something you think that uh, you must be looking very nice as compared to others. So there should be perfection in your clothes, right? So what exactly the mean of this coordinative ability, perfection and efficiency? Got it. So the very first concept that we need to understand here is what is coordinative ability. See cooperation, coordinative ability. So what is this coordinative ability? It is the ability of our body to perform movement with perfection and efficiency. Got it. So what is coordinative ability? Coordinative ability is the ability of our body. To perform movement with perfection and efficiency. So, coordinative ability is something when your body has efficiency to perform different tasks with perfection and efficiency. Got it? So, it is the ability. In other words, we can say it is the ability of human body. It is the ability of an individual to perform movement with change in direction as quickly as faster as possible. Right. So I think you. I hope you understand it. what is coordinative ability. Coordinative ability is the ability of a person to perform movement with perfection and efficiency. Moreover, it is the efficiency of a human body to perform movement with faster uh, way, in an efficient way, in a creative way, in an innovative way. It means something which is called perfect. So see now. Let us take an example. Uh, whenever you are, uh, you know, it's our board exam, right? So what we do there? We attempt each and every question very nicely, right? I hope you all passed ten uh, because you guys, some of you are in eleven, some of you are in twelve, right? So what is this concept to understand is that see when your board exam was going on. You must have think that how will you write the answers? What's the format? How beautifully you written there, right? And you maintain some charts, you maintain everything, so that your efficiency can be seen there. Your how perfectly you are able to you have started the concept of ten. 
So what I am talking about exactly, this coordinating ability is something which is giving perfection to human body. It is something that is the body perform the movement with perfection and efficiency. It's the ability of human body to change with direction as quickly and efficiently. So if your movement are perfect, if the movements are intuitive, if the movements are, you know, we can say, we can say, if the movements are uh, innovative, if the movements are uh, adroit, wonderful, then and then we can say it's different from this, right? So coordinative ability gives you the creative ideas. It gives you uh, ideas related to how to deal with life and etc. Next point, let us come on the next point. It is the ability to change movement or direction in the shortest time without getting one minute. So now let us take an example of Coco game. Right? I hope you must have seen game Coco. I must you have seen football. Oh, most of you have seen football, right? Don't say no. Fine. So uh, then let's talk about for Coco. See, Coco it's a game of 12 players. Out of the 9 were in the Coco, the 3 people were running uh, that are called chasers and runners. So here what we can see in this game, suddenly there is a co-pass, there is a fake co there are a lot of skills. And with shortest period of time, fast response, but what people do, people just do co, then change the direction, move here and there and you know, the game was fantastic. Speed related game, skill based game, right? So, also there the person, the, he or she who else will be there, will sit on a particular place as in when he get co, he'll stand and he'll run, start running. So you must see how good the neuromuscular coordination is. You must see how efficient the response to the stimulus. That is, someone comes and say ko, and he'll have to run over the runner. The chaser will run over the runner. So see how he, uh, you know, do a cold eye or do something. Uh, the skills which are there, the terminologies which are used in that particular game ko. So it's it's something. I hope you understand. That is what coordinative abilities. Right? Now let us take an example of football. See football, the, there are a lot of players playing football and sometimes the ball is here and after some time the ball is there, after some time the ball is there. The ball is continuously rotating here and there with one person to another, runner to the next, next to the next. So you must see what, how efficient, how efficiently and how wonderful response have been given by the players to one and another. Got it? So, see, uh, the juggling process, the process by which they pass the ball, they cut the ball, they post the goal, they kick the goal, they do header. So, this perfect timing is very important. Understood, my dear students? So, what I want to tell you that this coordinative ability is something which gives perfection, improve efficiency of your body. It gives, you know, it is it's a kind of graceful action performed by your body. Understand dear students? Now what is the next point here is we need to understand. The next point is provide balance to the body. So if your movements are graceful, if your movements are good, if your movements are efficient, if your movements are balanced, so coordinative ability means the body is properly balanced. What does it mean? It means that the body is properly balanced. So what is this balance? If I stand 4 or 6 inches difference between my feet, my body is properly balanced, the center of gravity is maintained. So see my body is properly balanced. So if you your components like strength, endurance, flexibility, etc. speed, the combination of these then and then only the coordinative abilities uh, can be maintained, right? So this coordinative ability helps to provide balance to the body while performing action. So whenever you perform any action, okay? So uh, let's take an example, okay? So uh, let's say this is my body, okay? And I am going to perform one of the asana that is we call a warrior pose or something. I am going to balance my body, right? So let's say I am going to do it like this, okay? And I am going to take my leg up, alright? So see how, what I am doing? This is coordinated. Let's quickly come back. So what I want to tell you, I want to tell you that 
see when you perform some actions, efficiency, balanced way, or something, the combination of that. So then, then this coordinative ability can be improved and can be maintained and can be understood too. So what exactly you need to know in your mind? What is coordinative ability? It's the ability of our body to perform movement efficiently, effectively. There should be perfection in your work. Whatever you do, it might be writing in the hobby, it might be playing a game, it might be playing kabaddi, it might be playing kho kho, anything else. There should be the perfection in your work. Next point that you are going to learn is, it is the fact of people coordinated of, it is a combination, right? So what I just told you that the, the coordinated ability is the combination of strength, endurance, flexibility, coordinativity, etc. What it is, students? So now let us come on the next point, and the next point is the accuracy of action. Now, what is the accuracy of action? So when I'm talking about the accuracy of action, it means see, let us take it uh, in the way of maths. Because physical education is a component, uh, it's a kind of education which is the combination of all. So when I'm talking about accuracy, see uh, if I go, if I allow you to solve one question of physics or maths, I want an accurate result. If I told you that I want a goal in the next two minutes in the football club, so I want an accuracy in your action so that you can goal. Right? If I want that while playing cricket, I want in this hour. There are six hours of six ball, right? So I want that in the second hour I want two six. Okay. So six uh, six when I want. So when you play and you put six, and the movement become accurate because your actions having that accuracy. Whatever your coach tell you, you have proved it. <coughs> Rhythm change in movement. Balance, wasteful action all depends on coordinating. So let us take an example. You must have seen gymnastic people. You must have seen an Amalkam. It is an individual game of India. So uh, what I would just like to tell you, when people maintain rhythm, when people maintain balance of the body, when people maintain, you know, constantly uh, when you are running or something else, we sometimes change the direction in the circle, right? The U shape uh, from okay. Sometimes when playing kho kho, uh, whenever you sit and you just get a kho and you either you move this way, either you move this way, or either you move this way to catch the runner. Okay, pakadani clear runner. So, up kya karoge? Here, what will do? Here, you will understand that either the thing related to balance, either the complex movement, either the graceful movement, whatever you do in your work, it totally depends on. Coordinative ability. Now let us give you a beautiful example. You all are walking, you all are running. So when I am walking, if walking is heel to toe action, right? Next and next. Okay, let's me come back. I am not dancing. So uh, this is what I want to tell you. While we walking, whole lot of muscles and bones are coordinated, right? So let's say my uh, hamstring muscles, calf muscles, quadricep muscles, my flangers of leg, foot, right? Leg muscles, leg bones, okay? This each and every muscles are coordinated. That's why I'm able to stand here. That's why your, your muscles of the body, your bones of the body, your central nervous and, you know, this uh, ANS, PNS, peripheral nervous system, central nervous system, the systems are truly coordinated with each other. That is why you are able to sit on a chair and I am able to stand and I am speaking and you are listening to me. Next beautiful example. How a person is like? Because a person, all the different components, all these sub points or the sub organs of the human body working efficiently. Let's say my lungs is properly working, my heart is properly working, they both are coordinated. Lungs giving oxygen, removing carbon dioxide, blood purification, blood pumping done by this heart. Excretory system, kidney, the work of kidney, ultrafiltration, digestion, stomach, providing of energy, intestine, and all everything. So each and everything is doing their own work. They're performing certain part, and then and then the body get you know a graceful action. 
If you are each and every organ working properly, then the output will be good, your health will be good. So that will be the coordinated action. In the same way, in game, if you are not performing skills in a coordinated way, in the game, if you are not performing the skills, the more important parts, like passing the ball while playing football, if you are not doing that, you will be lose the match. If you are able to perform all the moments properly, if you are able to perform the things properly, which should be there, then and then, we can think that your coordinative ability is important. So, coordinative ability can be understood in any way. Either you take your own body example, either you take the example of games and sports. See, physical education is the art of living, it's the art of science. E, our body is a science. So, either you are a commerce student, either you are a science student, you must have to understand that what exactly the coordinative ability is. Coordinative ability is not only visible in games and sports, it is more important and moreover, it is a you know, life skill of your life, of way to live your life, right? It is mainly a neuromuscular coordination. So I just earlier said you that it's a neuromuscular coordination. Right, students? So now, let me give you an example and this natural example. So let me just give you the example of this tree. So I have a stem of a plant, right? So let us suppose this is the stem. This is the nerve, this is our spinal cord, right? So let's take an example of this tree, that uh, this stem I said. So this is the main branch, right? This is the stem. And if, how to understand neuromuscular system correctly? If I break it, now you can see earlier it was straight, now it is fallen down. So if it is fallen down, it means there is something, a problem here. So if it is fallen down, it means if it is here, down, what is the problem here? The problem is that it is totally down. Now it will not stand because the neuromuscular coordination will go on away. This neuromuscular coordination. So the spinal cord, the vertebral columns, they all are very important. In the same way, while playing some games, so uh, if we do some physical activities properly, then the neuromuscular coordination can be maintained properly. I hope you understand, right? So uh, next point that I want to I wanna tell you is it is majorly like the main component of our muscular coordination. It depends on the central nervous system. So uh, I just told you that how coordinative abilities depend on the central nervous system. If the central nervous system uh, spreads the signals in the body properly, then then the uh, you know this important thing that is the nervous system, the functioning of the nervous system will be good. Got it. So next thing that I want to tell you is about it requires for almost all games. So this coordinative ability is very important and it is a great part of our each and every game. So if you want to play any game, if you want to really want to participate in any game, it is very very important to have a coordinative ability in you. Understood guys? So the uh, main point that we are now going to discuss is uh, types of coordinative ability, aware that is ability. So basically this coordinative ability is of five types. How many types? It is of five types, right? So uh, the thing that I want to tell you is about why it is required for all the games. So as earlier I just told you that uh, how important coordinative ability to perform, how important it is to understand accurately, right? So now let us come and let me explain you the types of coordinative ability. What is this coordinative ability? First is the adaptive ability. So let us take an example that you are standing in a garden and suddenly ball comes to you. So if it is coming on that height, you will header, you will do a head. If it is coming in your foot, you will just kick it up, right? If it is come on your thigh region, so what you will do, you either raise your leg or you do something else. Right? If you are playing football, so you will be maintain your bat, the batsman will maintain the bat and according to height of the ball, he will uh, either uh, plate the ball, either he take 6, either he take 4, so some either he take running, something else. So, adaptation, according to the situation, if we adapt ourselves, that is what is adaptive ability. So, adapt ourselves according to situation like how football, our football is coming us and uh, we are physically mental ready to kick the ball 
Exactly. So if we are ready, if we have this adaptive ability, then and then we will be able to put a thought and we will be able to give response to that particular movement. We will be able to give the response to the particular action efficiently. So what is this adaptive ability exactly? Adaptive ability is, you know, uh, it is a modification in our motor activity to response this to this. Next is kinesthetic ability. Uh, before that, balance ability is here. So balance ability means what? Balance ability means it is a stable position. So see, uh, if you are performing yoga, if you are performing any game, so if you fall in down, it means you are not in a stable position. If you do head and then you fall down, if you kick and you fall down, so it means the position is not stable. So one should have maintained the stable position wherever they stand, sit or any position, right? So what is uh, balance ability? Balance ability is something which helps an individual to balance, uh, maintain a stable position, maintain a good uh, coordinated uh, way to stand, run or perform any activity. Kinesthetic ability. Kinesthetic ability is performing partial movements into complex action. Okay, so uh, you must have seen uh, the kind of people do juggling and whole lot of things in uh, football, in cricket, in uh, yoga. There are, uh, you know, artistic yoga also, right? So, uh, to perform some movement in a complex way, in a difficult way, is called this kinesthetic ability. You must have seen Amal Khan. Okay, so if you have not seen just, you just click search on Google Amal Khan and you will see how, what is, how much flexible and how the coordinated actions can be performed so that the body can be healthier and happier. Rhythm ability. So rhythm ability is something which is each and every components of our skills are linked to one another and can be performed very well. Next is orientation ability. So orientation ability is something which gives you to perform the movement gracefully, to perform the movement with perfection. To perform, if you are uh, in the, uh, you know, if you in the mid of the football ground and if you kick the ball, it should go to the goal post and there should be the goal. So if you have that much confidence and if you have the power in your, the muscles of, the power of the muscles of your leg, that you can, if you can kick the ball from the center, it will go to the goal post and it make a goal. That is what our orientation ability. Now combination, combinatory ability or coupling ability. So coupling ability, combinatory, combinatory ability are same. This combinatory ability is also called coupling ability. So now what I want to tell about this combinatory ability, it is to perform the partial movement in more complex and more graceful way. When you perform different things, different skills in a graceful manner, Right? So let's take an example, our mother. Our mother in the generally uh, woke up in the morning, she takes bath or our father generally, any one of them, prepare breakfast for us, for herself, for father, for grandpa and everyone. She does a lot of tasks in morning. Then she itself prepare herself to go in the office, performing her work also. Let us take an example of a teacher. A teacher himself or herself do the household work and all the things whatever he want to do or whatever his duty in the home and he, then he come to school and take the responsibilities of a lot of the students, the career, the future and then again go back home, purchase some things, go again. So it, in the same way all people having this kind of work to go and to orient themselves and they perform each and everything. So if we relate it with the life situation, it is something which gives uh, it is something that helps an individual to maintain the life challenges. It is something which helps an individual to understand what exactly this com uh, that is what our coordinative ability. Now uh, let us talk about this components of wellness. So as earlier I told you what is wellness. Wellness is something which is related to the balance of mind and body. What is it? It is the balance of mind and body. So balance is something which is related to the balance of mind and body. Now what do we need to understand? We need to understand what is the component of balance, right? What is this balance of mind, right? So now let us come and understand if someone will have to understand the concept of balance. 
So what are the things we need to understand? What are the points we need to keep in our mind so that we will understand what is exactly this wellness is? Wellness is something which is, you know, equally everything is properly distributed. Let's say there are 10 members of this, uh, uh, the family and there are 10 chapatis, we distributed the 10 chapatis to everyone. This is called balanced. So in the same way, uh, let us talk about the balance, right? If there is a proper amount of nutrients in each and uh, in our body, it is balanced. So balance or wellness is something where our body is the... See, there are four components I told you. Physical, mental, social, emotional. So if four of these components are maintained properly, then we can say the wellness can be achieved. Then we say this wellness is achieved. Now, what are the components that we need to achieve? The first component is physical activity. So an individual must go to perform some physical activity, some physical exercise. Sweating a lot. For an individual who are in our, above, you know, about 25, from 13 to 25, there should, should be sweating for three times in a day. So that this nitrogenous waste can be removed. Right? So uh, first thing there is physical activity. So if you want to achieve wellness in your life, if you want to feel everything balanced, that is social, emotional and everything. What you need to do? You must have to balance, you must have to do physical activities anytime. See, uh, what I do generally do, uh, if I want to preserve, perform some physical activity, what I can do, I can do while I'm teaching like this, I can do like this, right? So that my student can also understand it. Uh, if I'm doing this, so this is some physical activity. Let's say while teaching, I can do like this. There is a stretch on my this reason. Again, I will do like this. Okay. So these are some activities. One should know, one should search at which time I can do activity. What is the time where I can uh, do this different kinds of activity? So that is what I want to tell you. A person must have to go for some physical workout, some uh, kind of workout so that you can understand the concept of wellness. You will be able to understand how to achieve wellness in the life, how to achieve the balance of mind and body. Balance in emotional life. Now what is this balance in emotional life? See, emotion is the most important component that we need to keep in mind because emotion is something which can lead you to the prosperous and which may lead you to that. So one should have a proper emotional lifestyle. Okay, this emotion should be controlled. This The decision the person takes should not be emotional, it should be conceptualized, it should be conceptualized, it should be based on fact and experience, not on emotions. These are something which is related to hormones. So the hormonal secretion will be good if you perform exercise. Intellectual attitude. What is this intellectual attitude? So when I am talking about intellectual attitude, intellectual attitude is something the way you think, the thought process, the way you behave, right? So intellectual process is also very important. Some uh, Sometimes the people may have intellectual disability. It means they are not able to think, write, or thought process is totally a little bit weak. So intellectual process is something. Active social lifestyle. So one should participate in a you know, interactive way, in a collaborative way, one should perform, you know, some have social qualities. So interact with the people to deal with the life and so many things, right? So what is this intellectual attitude? One should have a attitude while he can he or she can you know always be expressive, openness, optimistic, right? So one should be like an ocean. One should be like a ocean. I have a lot of work, I have to do this, I have to do that. But we are not 
who is supposed to do this and that, you will have to focus at your life. You will have to understand the concept that how to manage the stress of life because stress is not only something that you can uh, just uh, taking pressure and do some meditation and that's all. One should be well organized, one should be plan the activities, make a schedule of the day and then and then you achieve the particular goals even in the life, even in a particular day. Occupational wellness, so one should be very, uh, you know, clear, one should be very, uh, you know, uh, do not be liar and one should, if one should want to achieve a wellness, he should be clear with his goal, with the terminologies, with his work. So this professional, occupational wellness can be achieved. Environmental wellness, so one should go for tree plantation. One should, you just see once. When you see trees, when you see, you just sit together with the plants. I generally, it's my real example. I am giving you my own life experience that I generally spend my Sundays on forest reason. I do sit there. I love to be there because that is the peace you feel there. You never ever earn it. You never ever, you know, that uh, purchase it. It only can be feel. It only can be give you a lot of energies. You just sit with some trees, some plants, you understand what exactly the meaning of this wellness is. In, because as they are also living being, right? So in the same way you need to understand that life is something which is, you know, uh, it is adhuri hai, without wellness. So all the stress, all the tension can be removed if you have a wellness. Right, my dear students? So I hope you understand the concept of this coordinative ability, the types of coordinative ability and the components of wellness. Right? So what is coordinative ability? It is the ability of our body to perform movement with perfection and efficiency. All over we can say it is the ability to change in movement or change in direction at shortest time without getting unbalanced. Adaptive or coordinative abilities are of five types, six types, not five, six. Adaptive ability, balance ability, kinesthetic ability, rhythm ability, orientation ability, combinatory ability. The components of wellness are one should be physically fit, one should perform some physical workout, one should have a balanced and active lifestyle, one should have a good intellectual attitude, the thought process, the ideas, the behavior, the conduct of the life. One should have an active social life, interactive behavior, must able to manage the stress of life, tension of life and have a balanced emotional life too. One should be have occupational wellness, professional wellness, clear with the goals and have some environmental wellness. So I hope you understand the different components of coordinative ability and the different concept of wellness too. So one should be like ocean, that is always open, conscientiousness, always ready, extroversion, always be great and innovative, creative. One should be, you know, agreeable, to agree with the terms and let's do the wonderful life. One should be neutral, to be not to be partial with someone. So see the ocean, the, uh, you know, the bahao to dekho ocean ka. कल कल झरझर बहता है कितना उमड़ उमड़ कर आता है और फिर चला जाता है सो यू मस्ट हैव टू लर्न लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स दैट टू यू नो मैनेज योर लाइफ विद दिस नेचुरल एनवायरनमेंट लाइक ट्री बर्ड्स एंड होल लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स इन आर साइड दैट वी कैन अंडरस्टैंड इट व्हाट एग्जैक्टली द कंपोनेंट्स ऑफ आवर लाइफ हाउ टू मैनेज इज द लाइफ स्ट्रेस हाउ टू अंडरस्टैंड द कोऑर्डिनेटिव एबिलिटी इन आवर रियल लाइफ सो दैट वी कैन लीव अ हेल्दी एंड हैप्पी लाइफ so now i am going to tell you uh, and i am going to present a demo about kabaddi and now let you see here what are the different ways to see coordination and how coordination is very important in games and sports right so now let's come we are going to start kabaddi and here we will see that uh, what is the need of coordinative ability so let's start the game so as you can see here two players right and uh, see yeah this is what coordinative ability sometime the player comes forward sometime he goes bent and see stop stop in this position these two players have hold his leg this ankle right so this is also a coordination continue please
right so see the students or a player while playing any game this coordinative ability is very important now i am going to show you what is speed see this player come and this player put his legs you perform this action again he come and he just put his uh, you know his skill uh, we can uh, say it toe touch right so this is, it is also what this amount of speed so to play any game it is very important to have all the five components that is our speed endurance flexibility coordinativity so as you saw here that they caught his leg so what is it it is also again what coordinativity now i just want the player to stop for a while and i just want to see uh, this chain right these two players made the chain and this chain is a kind of coordinative ability between two of these players so when this uh, player uh, when attack on the another side these two people uh, along with their chain go there and will uh, this uh, opponent ko uh, they will help to coach him right so that they can win the game so it is same in even if we play football even it's in any game it is very important to have a coordinative ability now i would like to request ayush our next player ayush will come and he'll be showing some skills right like a uh, back kick or something some kind of skills and you see now it started so the game is on the player go on and see yeah this is back kick so to perform a partial movement into a grateful action right so this now this uh, coordinative ability are of different types i told you that is adaptive physical ability ever uh, adaptive physical ability or adaptive coordinative ability so as in when this player do back kick see okay if the player is coming and he is performing the back kick and okay he is performing back kick so when he perform that back kick this player with the yellow dress he update himself backward so this is what adaptive coordinative ability continue please let's see again the game is on and this uh, i want to see ankle hold okay so aman will hold the ankle let's see this ankle hold so this is what performing partial movement into a graceful action right so it is something which is called speed and there should be a flexibility on the leg of the person who is coming in the court so that uh, this uh, an injury and can be uh, cannot be done so that the health of a player should also be good so uh, now let's continue this game and i'll be explaining in between endurance is also a major component see when the player is coming again and again and the player is performing his activities and there is some time limits also here and he also have to deceive the opponent right so here what we need to understand that all the five components of physical fitness wellness and lifestyle are also very important again i want aman to perform to come and start the game so what i was telling you i was telling you about the all the five components so let's say it's uh, let's talk about uh, first that is strength so the person must have uh, strength in his leg so that he or she could play the game right or play any activity if we talk about endurance thakavat hoti hai right bachcho mein muscles mein lactic acid deposit hoti hai okay so if he or she is uh, you know uh, tired then he or she will not be able to play game so first thing that is stress is very important second thing that is our uh, endurance is very important next is speed speed is also very important because if you until and unless you possess a good speed you can't uh, win the game right next the thing that i want to tell you is about flexibility so if a uh, individual have a good flexibility so in between while playing the game if he uh, lose something or if he perform some faulty action so there will not be any internal injury as well as there will not be any musculoskeletal injury last thing that is our coordinative ability so definitely it is required for almost all the games so i hope you all guys understand the concept of coordinative ability This is called coordinative ability. So this is what we had understood about coordinative ability.